Welcome back to my franchise for the Oklahoma City Cyclones here on Access Football 2023. Now, it has been a minute since I played this, and I do apologize for the small delay in uploads. I've been having a lot of fun on Madden 23 right now, but I wanted to come back to this because I want to at least win one Super Bowl or Access Bowl before I wrap up the series. So in the last season, we went 9-7. and seven. We got into the wild card spot, but we did lose in the wild card round, and the Indianapolis Gladiators won their first access bowl of the series. I think the first two went to the New York Barons. I think that's what they're called. We do have one retired player, so let's see who that is. That is Elliot Guyon, one of our wide receivers. So now I guess we can get into player progressions to see exactly how good everyone got. Our quarterback really can't get much better than he already did. He is still an A-plus overall, but he got one to speed, which now he's an A-plus in speed. Let's see. Our running backs are definitely an issue. We should probably look to get a new one of those. Wide receiver is another thing that I'm slightly concerned about. We have an A and a, what, C-plus is our next highest? Yeah, that's probably not going to cut it. Tight end is a B. Offensive line looks like Sam Cooper got to an A. And uh, John Watkins dropped three ratings. All right. He will probably not come back. Defensive line, we have a B plus or several B plus. Or, sorry, a B, a B plus, and another B. At linebacker, we have a B plus, a B, and a few Cs. We have another B plus down here. And it uh, looks like Noah Atkins goes up to a B. At defensive back, we have a few C pluses, a B plus down here with Marco Boone, and another B plus with Noah Daniels. So those two got a little bit better. Our kicker actually got a little bit worse. We may need to look for a new one of those. And our punter dropped three ratings. Okay, so Victor Fisher will most likely not be our punter next season. And I do have $169 million in funds for whatever reason this year. I have no idea how the funds work in this game. But let's go ahead and jump into the draft. I want to see who Washington takes with the number one pick. And then we will skip to ours. So let's see. They take Trenton Morton, the A-plus running back. And we have picked 22 in this draft. We had the 23rd ranked pass defense, the 21st turnover margin, and the 17th rush defense. Uh, whenever I was looking earlier, if I go back over here, I can show you guys. We had the 20th ranked defense in total, but the 6th ranked offense. So I think this offseason needs to be a lot about defense. Now, the problem with building the defense here is I either did not scout well, or there were just not very many good prospects in the areas that I was scouting here. Uh, looks like this linebacker is probably the best bet, but... Yeah, we don't have a lot of people that we know anything good about. I don't know if he is the best player available because, like I said, I don't think I scouted very well. But we're going to take defensive back Brian Owens here. He has B-plus coverage, so I think he might be able to, to develop into something decent. We are also going to take wide receiver Alfonso Moss here in the second round. He has B-speed and B-catching, so I'm hoping he can also kind of improve to a decent player i don't think this is going to be the draft to find our immediate starters okay and i lied we did not have a second round pick i forgot i traded it but we do have a third round pick and that's where we took alfonso moss so now we are in the fourth round and here in the fourth round i'm going to take linebacker cody park and hopefully once again another guy that will have to progress into a decent player and now here in the fifth round we're going to take defensive lineman adam cox and we will add him to our team and in round six, we're going to take defensive back Emmanuel Benson. And we will now jump to the seventh round. And I honestly don't know where I'm going to go with this pick. Here in the seventh round, we are going to take a risk here. We're going to take wide receiver Colton Romero. He has B plus speed and C catching. We did not scout him, but we will take him here. And now we will jump to the end of the draft. All right. Brian Owens was a B. We did not have a second round pick. Our third round pick, Alfonso Moss, is a C. Cody Park is a C. Round five, Adam Cox is a C plus. Round six, Emmanuel Benson is a C. And round seven, Colton Romero is a C. It looks like all three of the top players taken were all A plus. And then it looks like the Pittsburgh Ironhawks took a bust at number four, a C plus receiver. All right, in the past off seasons, what I've done is just kind of go through and sign them all and not show you guys until the very end. But I'll kind of break down each position this time. Here we have quarterback Andre Jordan, but I think I'm just going to go ahead and release him. I know we have a ton of money, but I want to see if I can get any free agents that will actually help this team immediately. So this one's really risky because Richard Guerrero is 30 years old and I believe he is starting to regress here and he wants 6 million a year, but I don't think we're going to find much better in free agency. He has A speed, C plus break tackle, C awareness, B catching. Uh, let's see if he'll take like five and a half for like four years. 
Okay, yeah, he took that. All right, so we at least have a solid running back if we can't find one in free agency. All right, first things first, let's sign these two rookie receivers. They generally take the just like, you know, first contract offer. So we get both of them back. We're not going to bring back Desmond Dempsey. And we're not going to bring back Brent Hart. I almost called him Brett Hart. And then we will bring back Noel Cox. He wants a ton of money, but I am willing to give him that. We'll actually bump this up just a little bit. And we get him back. He is our definitely best receiver at an A overall. Tight end. Let's see how much Dakota Hardy wants. He wants $2 million. Uh, let's lowball him a little bit. Let's go with 1.5 for three years. He doesn't want that. What about 1.8 for three years? Okay. And the offensive line. Let's go ahead and take care of Sam Cooper. Just go ahead and pay him. John Watkins, you are not coming back. Oscar Mendoza, you're 26 years old and a C plus. You don't want a ton of money. We'll go ahead and offer you. All right, you want a little bit more money? That's fine. And Elliot Bugaj, yeah, no idea. You're getting cut. For the D line, we'll go ahead and sign our rookie Adam Cox, but we're not going to re-sign Hayden Witt. We're going to let him walk. Now linebacker is interesting because I took two linebackers in the draft. We're going to obviously sign Cody Park and Emmanuel Benson, our two draft picks. We are also going to bring back Gerald Richardson. He wants a ton of money, though, but I think he is honestly worth it, so we'll bring him back. But Nicholas Pahula, you are getting let go. And defensive back, obviously, Brian Owens, our first-round pick. We will offer you a contract, and we'll bring back Noah Daniels. He wants $10 million for four years. I'm willing to do that. Uh, these two guys, though, we are going to let walk. They want a little more money than I'm willing to offer them. And now what about kicker? We still have Andy Brouch and punter. We still have Victor Fisher. So that is everyone we have brought in okay and we have three roster spots so let's go look at these guys and see exactly what we can get for our team the first one we are offering is running back wesley jimenez i did not realize there would be an a plus running back in free agency and he has signed with us the next one we're offering is wide receiver ronald watson he is an a plus overall with a plus speed catching and awareness and he is also signed with us we're also going to offer offensive lineman Dale James here. He's obviously wanting a bunch of money, but he has an A-plus overall, and we also land him. And one more offer we're going to do is defensive lineman Dalton Carter here, and he is also signed with us. So we get everyone that I really wanted in free agency. We have obviously blown a ton of money, but I think we built a pretty solid team for our quarterback now. But now let's go over our depth chart. Starting at quarterback is second-year player Mitchell Guerrero. At running back, we now have Wesley Jimenez, who is an A-plus overall. At wide receiver, we have Ronald Watson, who is an A-plus, and Noel Cox, who is an A. At tight end, we have a B overall, Marquise Murray. At offensive line, we have an A-plus in Raquan Borges, an A in Sam Cooper, an A in Esteban Goodman, a B in Grayson Steele, and an A-plus in Dale James. At defensive line, we have an A in Dalton Carter, a B-plus in Jimmy Campbell, and a B in Hayden Diaz. At linebacker, we have a B-plus in Gerald Richardson, a B in Keaton Weber, and a B in Noah Atkins. Also a B-plus in Randy Holland. And then at defensive back, which might be the weakest point on defense, we have Noah Daniels, who's a B-plus, Brian Owens, who's a B, Ju I'm sorry, not Julio, Julio Henniger, who is a B, B-plus in Marco Boone, and a B in Sterling Jimenez. And then at kicker, we still have Andy Brouch. And at punter, I am going to keep Victor Fisher, even though he regressed massively. There's just really not one in for agency. So now with that, just like the last offseason video, I am going to go ahead and simulate the first four games, and we will figure out how good this team actually is. I feel like we've kind of gone all in on this season because I have offered a ton of big contracts, but let's go ahead and figure it out. And we will start the season 1-0 by taking down the Louisiana Gators 35-14. Mitchell Guerrero throws four touchdowns. Jimenez runs for 91 yards in a score. Owens caught four touchdowns. That's not even the receiver we are paying a ton of money. How do we hold their quarterback? 21 for 36, 158, two scores and a pick, and their running back ran for 100 yards. And our next game is against the Las Vegas Outlaws, so let's go ahead and simulate week two. All right, in week two, we fall to Las Vegas, so we started the season one and one. Let's see what happened. Guerrero goes 28 of 45, 238, two touchdowns and a pick. Jimenez runs for 160 yards. Their quarterback, 29 of 41, 218, one touchdown and a pick. They only run for 63 yards, but he does run for two touchdowns. What exactly happened in this game? We were sacked the same amount of times. We outgained them in pass yards, rush yards. I, I really don't know where we lost this game. They just got into the end zone more. That's all that comes down to. But now we get to scout. So let's go ahead and pay the $2 million, get the scouting report, and let's figure out where everyone is. All right, tight end in the West is an A, so we need to scout that definitely. Uh, no other position is an A, though, so I will go through and uh, 
figured exactly what I need to scout in every single like division. I now have all the scouts ready, but let's go ahead and scout this uh, tight end Rodrigo Lynch since uh, the West Division apparently had an A plus in tight end. And this guy is a C. He got to a B, but then he quickly fell apart. Is there any other tight ends up here near the top that I want to try to scout? What about Malcolm Wenger? And he drops to a D plus. Never mind. Uh, where did he go? Did he like drop off the list or did I scout the wrong guy? I may have just scouted the wrong guy. That, that could be on me. I don't even see that guy on my list anymore. I believe his last name was Wenger. He is no longer showing up here at all. I think he was so bad my scout just shot him. But over here in the central division, we have an possible A plus DB. He falls to an A. We scout him again. He goes back to an A plus. We'll use all three points on him. And Austin Lacey is an A plus defensive back. All right, over in the southeast, let's go ahead and scout linebackers. He drops to a C plus. What about Demetrius Glover at D line? He goes to a B. We finish scouting him. He's a C plus. And in the Northeast, we have another possible A plus DB. He stays an A plus through both scouting points. So we have two A plus DBs in this class. What about Henry Daniel? He drops from a B plus to a C. We do have two injuries right now on the team, but it doesn't appear to be any like top tier starters. So I think we'll be fine. But it looks like we already get to play the Louisiana Gators yet again. So let's go ahead and simulate week three. And we take home the win this time, 21 to 16. Let's see these stats. Guerrero, 28 for 43, 229, one touchdown and a pick. But new running back Wesley Jimenez, 25 carries for 99 yards and two touchdowns. Their quarterback, I'm sorry, their running back ran for 216 yards. Are you kidding me, defense? I have like A-plus at D-line. I don't really know what's going on there. But now week four is against the Atlanta Razorbacks. So let's go ahead and simulate the last game in this video, and then we will check how season stats are doing okay i don't know what's going on with this team now 44 points led up to atlanta we lose 26 to 44 guerrero goes 28 for 39 305 two touchdowns and a pick the running back runs for 151 yards but their quarterback 21 for 34 164 yards and three touchdowns maybe i need to make a trade for a defensive back that may be the thing in the next video we may need to trade for a young db like i did last year where i traded for a uh, an a overall receiver from a stacked team because right now we have the second offense in the league the first passing offense and the sixth rushing but we have the 26 defense and it's actually our rushing defense so maybe we need a linebacker but let's check out the stats through a quarter of the season guerrero 110 for 165 1053 yards nine touchdowns and four interceptions on the ground wesley jimenez through four games already has 500 yards and three touchdowns receiving noel cox 34 for 295 Ronald Watson, 28 for 319, but neither one of our top receivers have caught touchdowns. Most of our touchdowns are going to Owens, who has six already. What about defense? How is that going? Leading the team in tackles is going to be Keaton Weber. In sacks is also Keaton Weber. In interceptions is Noah Atkins and Marco Boone. Instead of trading for a linebacker, I'm going to try to sign linebacker Tanner Gronkowski to a three-year contract, and he has signed with us. And the reason I did that is because Keaton Weber is leading the team in tackles, but he has a C tackle rating. So what we're going to do is we're going to go down here and take Emmanuel Benson and send him to the practice squad so we can come back over here and get our brand new linebacker in Tanner Gronkowski and send him over to the active roster. We'll head back to the depth chart and we are actually going to replace Keaton Weber with Tanner Gronkowski. I know Weber is leading the team in tackles and that is important. But that C tackle rating, I think, could end up being a problem. Maybe Tanner Gorkowski can get even more tackles. And you know what? Let's go ahead and get one more simulation in against the Denver Mountaineers to see if we can improve to 3-2 and two before I wrap up this video. And we win that game 38-16, to 16, so we at least end this video with a winning record. Guerrero goes 30 for 40, 283 yards, 2 touchdowns. And Jimenez runs in for 2 touchdowns as well with 55 rushing yards. And Watson and Cox both finally got a touchdown on the season. We held their quarterback to 26 of 39 for 188, one touchdown and a pick, and they're running back to 119 yards. But obviously in the next video, we will pick up right here in week six, and we will probably simulate a good chunk of the rest of the season. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video, and I will talk to you guys next time.